Happy Days was one of the most successful TV sitcoms of the 70s and 80s and really forever. How come? Because I'm the Fonz, huh? It ran for 11 seasons from 1974 to 84 and continued to gain popularity as time went by. Over 250 half-hour episodes produced a nation of fans and a world of Fonzie fanatics. Hey, everybody! And it all began quite modestly without the Fonz at all, in a pilot episode on Love American Style in 1972. But adding the likes of Henry Winkler will never do you wrong. You really shot? No, little elves bring all that food to my door. <laughs> do you remember those happy days watching Fonzie, Richie, and the gang? It wonderfully portrayed the ideal Midwestern life of the 50s and 60s, set in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And from fearless Fonzarelli, where the Fonz attempted to jump over a dozen trash cans on his motorcycle to prove he's still cool. to football frolics, where Richie and the gang have to babysit 15 kids to save up money for the big game. We loved watching these high schoolers handle their problems, and the Fonz was usually right in the thick of things. You care to wager? <laughs> so let's learn a little more about the love life of Arthur Fonzie Fonzarelli. I'm Nostalgic Nick with Do You Remember? And today we're remembering those happy days. If you enjoy the segment, smash that thumbs up icon and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a beat. A happy summary. Richie Cunningham was the clean cut high school student while Fonzie was the cool high school dropout turned biker. Arthur Fonzie Fonzarelli was played by Henry Winkler and Richie was played by Ron Howard. Richie's parents, Howard and Marion Cunningham, were also central members of the cast. And Marion was the only person on the show allowed to call Fonzie by his real name, Arthur. Here's your thermos for work, Arthur because she does so in a respectful, motherly way. Fonzie was just a recurring character in season one, but it was not a secret that this bad boy was slowly stealing all the ladies and the ratings too. He would be an integral part of the show, especially when Richie was written off the show because Ron's directing career was taking off. The Fonz and Mr. Cunningham were actually the only two characters to appear in every episode, and Happy Days propelled Henry Winkler to stardom. A. Henry Winkler was born on October 30th, 1945 in New York City. He appeared in a few TV shows and movies prior to Happy Days, but they were mostly smaller roles. His Fonzie not only catapulted him to stardom, but is a top five television character in my book. A legend through and through. Cue the jukebox. <laughs> Fonzie was the suave, cool biker guy that everyone liked and secretly wanted to be. And I bet some of you even purchased a leather jacket in 1977 just to channel your inner Fonz. Please tell me in the comments if you were one. The guy exuded confidence and got all the ladies. And along with confidence, he had advice. Uh, let me see. Glory may be fleeting, you know? Yeah. I mean, he moves into the Cunningham household and practically acts as a guidance counselor. Fonzie holds a very special place in most people's hearts and is viewed as a cultural icon. There was a ton of Fonzie merch created during the show's tenure. Did you know that Fonzie's leather jacket is at the Smithsonian National Museum in the American History Permanent Collection? Yep, Henry donated one of his old jackets to the museum in 1980. Wow. And then I took one of those and delivered it to the Smithsonian. Fonzie was an American fashion icon. I'm just glad they ditched that old boring gray McGregor windbreaker after season one. It did not fit Fonzie's style. It was plain and boring. Oh yeah? Sit on it, Marvin. In the early 80s, Henry Winkler appeared as Fonzie on other shows too. And the actor was kind of typecast at the end of the show and decided to move into producing and directing. But he did return to acting and has won notable awards. The dude has had one incredible career when many actors would have been trying to channel that Fonzie spirit forever. He evolved and is a dramatic and comedic actor with the greats. And after his Fonz was nominated for an Emmy three times, but never won, the great Henry Winkler finally took home his first Emmy in 2018 for his wonderful acting coach on the HBO show Barry. 
Thank you, it's what I do. He's just hysterical and real and just a joy to watch. But if there ever was a more memorable character than Fonzie himself, no way it could just happen in three episodes, right? But that's exactly what happened. She was the queen of cool. She was Fonzie's steady girlfriend, Pinky Tuscadero. But just who was Pinky and where did she come from? All I see is pink. Rosalind Swartz was born on July 29, 1943 in Mount Vernon, New York. She later changed her name to Roz Kelly, which, yeah, sick stage name. And Roz would be the actress chosen to play Pinky Tuscadero. A tough casting decision as the Fonz was godlike at that point. But that three-part kickoff to season four was outstanding, and it was clear they made the right choice for their Pinky, the older sister of Leather Tuscadero, played by singer Susie Quattro. Carol insisted on being called Pinky and dressed in matching attire. She was a traveling demolition derby driver because of course a badass to match a badass. Hey Fonz, guess who? Acting was not Roz's first career choice. Initially, she was a model and staff photographer for New York Magazine. She took photos of several famous people like Jimi Hendrix, Andy Warhol, and Leonard Cohen. That photo of Jimi Hendrix is pure art. And if you need a quick Jimmy fix, you gotta check out the wild events that took place at Woodstock. Before her role as Pinky Tuscadero, Roz Kelly appeared in a handful of films beginning in 1968, but her role in the Barbara Streisand-led film The Owl and the Pussycat in 1970 certainly got some people's attention. But Roz hadn't had a role in two years when her inner punk won over the role of Tuscadero. Roz says, quote, I hear that some people think I'm abrasive. I'm just myself. Sure, I talk loud once in a while, but that doesn't mean people can chew me up and spit me out. Pinky was slated to be Fonzie's long-term girlfriend, and commercials for the next season of Happy Days were even promoting her character. So what happened? Apparently, Roz Kelly was not a huge fan of Henry Winkler, and when it came down to it, the producers of Happy Days began to think twice about the inclusion of Pinky. When discord occurred among Kelly, the cast, and the producers, her character was ultimately dropped. Roz was able to reprise her character of Pinky on the spin-off Blansky's Beauties, as well as in the mid-70s on the Paul Lind Halloween special. Hug that shoulder! Grab that curve! Bump that bump if you got the nerve! But after that, the character of Pinky Tuscadero faded from the spotlight. Roz herself picked up a few more acting gigs. She starred in two horror flicks. The first was 1980's New Year's Evil, and then the PG werewolf parody Full Moon High, both of which are quite terrible films, but a whole lot of fun to watch. Her television acting puttered as well. In the mid-70s, she appeared on four episodes of Starchy and Hutch, The Love Boat three times, and then Fantasy Island twice in the early 80s. But that would be about it. Her final acting credit was playing Mary on one episode of Trapper John MD in 1983. So what forced the strong dynamic Kelly out of Hollywood? Pinky in prison. Roz Kelly left the spotlight altogether. There's a lot of speculation as to what happened, but here's what we know. Roz kinda lost it. She fired a 12 gauge shotgun into the living room of her neighbor's house after a car alarm went off in the early morning hours awaking her. But that wasn't enough, she also shot the neighbor's car and another close by. Luckily, the neighbor was not home at the time and Roz pleaded no contest, receiving three years of felony probation and ordered to go to psychiatric counseling. She also had to pay for the property she damaged. Roz had anger issues, once again being jailed in a probation violation after her ex-boyfriend said that she hit him with her cane. She pleaded no contest and was sentenced to 120 days in jail on October 27, 2000. But she was credited for the 98 days she had already spent in jail waiting for her sentencing. And then we're not exactly sure what happened to Roz Kelly. And we here at Do You Remember hope Roz Kelly is doing well in whatever she has gotten into because she certainly made great memories for most of us. That is not Mr. Tuscadero. That's the Fonz. 
Hey. Happy Days is a legendary sitcom that spawned nearly as incredible spin-offs like Laverne and Shirley and Mork and Mindy. So let's talk. What was your favorite episode of Happy Days? Did you have a favorite character? Did anyone see the Happy Days musical that toured the US in the late 2000s? Let us know in the comments below, we read them all. And as always, please don't forget to smash that thumbs up icon and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a memory. Click the bell for notifications of when we drop new videos. But from all of us here at Do You Remember, sincerely, we want to thank you for watching.